Welcome everyone. When you log into Mustache, the first thing I want you to notice is the main navigation bar. It's how you move around the app. Depending on your device, you'll see it in different places. On desktop, it runs across the top. On tablets, it's along the side. And on phones, it's across the bottom. No matter where it appears, the tabs are always the same, so you'll feel right at home on any device. Let's take a quick look at what each major section does. Discover is where you explore everything. Projects from the community, products from your favorite companies, new releases, and inspiration videos. Stash is your personal space. This is where you'll find your own stash of products, your wish list, and custom items you've added yourself. Create is all about ideas and inspiration. Here you'll find projects shared by the community, your own creations, and your favorites. Learn is our growing library of tutorials and how-to videos. We're adding more all the time to help you get the most out of Mustache. And finally, in the upper right corner, you'll see your avatar. Tapping this opens your user drawer, where you can manage your account, your subscription, import data from other systems, send feedback to us, visit support, or even sign out. Next, let's look at one of the most powerful parts of Mustache, the filter panel. You can open it by tapping this icon. It'll be in slightly different places depending on your device. On tablets and phones, it may move a bit, but just look for this icon and it'll open the same panel everywhere. With the filter panel open, you'll see filters for company, product type, holiday, season, theme, tone, and other. These filters work across every major section of the app. For example, in the company filter, let's select Brutus Monroe. Then under product type, let's choose stamp sets. Finally, let's open holiday filter and select Christmas. Now, Mustache shows all the matching products. You can also type a search term. Let's try Santa. This will narrow things down even further. Once your results are on the screen, you can adjust how they are displayed. The default view is grid view, which shows images and is great for browsing visually. While the table view lists everything in rows and is sorted alphabetically, so it is easy to search by name. You can switch between them anytime with this control here. When you're in grid view, there's also a zoom control, which lets you choose how big or small each product preview appears. This is handy if you want to see more items at once or focus on larger details. When you're done exploring, you can remove filters one by one, or you can tap clear all to reset everything at once. Just note, clear all resets filters, but not your search text. If you want to remove your search text, you need to click this X here. The filters in search work across multiple pages, so whether you're browsing discover, stash, or create, they'll always help you find exactly what you're looking for. Now that we've gone over the main aspects of the overall user interface, let's talk about the main sections in more detail. First up is the Discover page. This is the heart of Mustache and where you start when you first log in. When you arrive, you'll see what's trending across the community. At the top are trending projects. These are real cards and creations made by Mustache members. Next comes trending products, showing what people are adding to their stash or using most often. 
Below that are newly added products. This shows the newest items added to the Mustache database. New things are popping up here all the time, and soon this section will highlight new releases by company instead of individual products. Below that, you can browse by occasion to find ideas for holidays and themes. And finally, recently viewed, so you can jump back to things you've looked at before. But the Discover page isn't just for browsing. It's also where you'll do most of your searching and organizing. If you use filters or the search bar, Discover shifts into a more focused view, showing results from across the entire Mustache database. This is where you'll spend your time when you're setting up your stash, searching for the products you own, or discovering new ones that you might want. Next, let's look at the stash section. This is where you'll find your personal collection, everything you own, want, or have added yourself. Across the top, you'll see three tabs. My Stash, which shows all the products you've added to your own personal stash. Wishlist, which is where you'll find everything you've marked that you'd like to have someday. And Added by Me, this lists any products that you've personally added to the Mustache database. For instance, when you come across something that wasn't already there. So the Stash page is really your home base. It's the place to organize what you have, keep track of what you want, and contribute items that are missing from the community database. Next is the Create section. This is where all the inspiration lives. The first tab is Inspiration, showing projects that are shared by other members of the community. If something catches your eye, you can tap the thumbs up to like it, or the star to save it in your favorites. The Favorites tab keeps all those ideas in one place, so unlike trying to remember posts that you saw on Instagram or Pinterest, you'll always be able to find them again here. The last tab is My Projects. This is where you can keep track of the cards and projects you've made yourself. Projects always start out private, or if you want to, you can share them later. And once you do, they'll appear on the Inspiration tab for others to see and enjoy. So Create is both about discovering what others are making and keeping track of your own creativity and sharing with the community if you wish. Finally, there's the Learn section. Right now, this area is just getting started, but it's where you'll find short video tutorials to help you get the most out of Mustache. We're adding new videos regularly, starting with the most helpful ones for getting up and running. Over time, this section will grow into a full library of tips and walkthroughs, not only of just the app itself, but also for card making techniques and more interesting things like that. That's a quick overview of the main sections of Mustache. Discover, Stash, Create, and Learn, as well as how you use most of the controls in the app. Now that you know your way around, you're ready to start exploring. Add a few products to your stash, check out what others are creating, and learn as you go. Thanks for watching and welcome to the Mustache community. Always remember, if you need help, please let us know.